Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic in Microsoft Excel that is the pivot tables. So pivot tables are are basically a tool for summarizing a large set of data in Microsoft Excel. So this is just about its definition. But when it comes to applying it on applying it on the data and how you will summarize the data using the pivot table, it beca- becomes sometimes difficult for some uh, for some students to understand it. I am just going to to give you a very simple example to understand its concept that how you can summarize, how you can analyze, how you can extract useful information from the uh, from a large set of data or you can say you can make your raw data uh, or you can convert your raw data into a useful data using the pivot tables uh, here i have a data where uh, related to the performance of students in a school so the, we have four columns that is student name grade level subject and score now this is a raw data if i write here so that you can easily differentiate between the raw data and the information that you will get after converting it into pivot table so this is a raw data so this 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 is a raw data and it is specifically not giving you a very useful information although i i have mentioned very few students here but if you have a, a data of of the entire school that it becomes difficult to understand or to evaluate or to summarize or to you can say analyze such data so in such a case you need the pivot pivot tables to uh, extract useful information from it so i am going to tell you how you can extract useful information from this data so my concern here is to convert this raw data into useful information now it all depends on what is my requirement what i want to extract from this data so my requirement here is uh, i want the average scores of the students by grade level and subject level that i want to see that in the average score of the ninth grade students in math subject i want to see the average score of the students of ninth in science subject and i want to see the average score of the students of 10th grade in math subject and similarly i want to see the average score of the students in 10th uh, grade in the science subject but here you can say that, that the data is very redundant each thing is repeating but just the students are unique because every student has its own score but the grade level and subject is redundant it means the grade level and the subject is same so i want to extract an information that is the average score of the students by grade level and subject so what i have to do what i will do is first of all the data should be in the form of table like it must have the clear labels or you can say the column uh, uh, column labels so that they can be uh, easily understandable by the excel so if i want to apply the concept of pivot tables on this table what i have to do i have to select the data then i have go to insert tab and then i here is the pivot table option so i have to select now here comes the a pop up window will open and it is it has already as i have already selected the data range so it is already selected otherwise i will select this data range then we have choose where you want the pivot table to be placed so uh, it's two options whether you want the table to be in new worksheet or in the same worksheet so i want it to be on the existing worksheet and i have to specify the location where i want to display it. so i have selected it and, and i will just press okay now here comes the another window that will be very important for you to understand because here comes the actual work of pivot table student name one was student name grade level subject score so these are the different variables of the table it is written here drag fields between areas below so the important thing here is what you want the pivot to tables to do for you so i want the pivot tables to first of all to calculate the average score that i have already written here average scores for that the this this field is valuable here this field is required for for the cal- sake of calculations whether you want the average whether you want the sum wh- whether you want the count whatever you want so i want to find find the average so the average belongs to the scores so i will drag the score to this field so it will calculate the average now another thing is i want 
the average scores by grade level and subject level so it depends on me, me whether i want to keep the grade levels in the columns or i whether i want to keep the grade levels in the rows so here i am going to keep the grade levels in the column and the subjects in the rows or it it's okay if you want to change it if for example if i don't want the subject to be in rows rows i will remove the field and i will drag this field here and then i will drag the subject field to the column row so you can see here the pivot table is created row labels see here that i have selected the rows to be grade level so the rows are 9th and 10th and i have selected the columns to be uh, subject so the subjects are maths and science and these are in columns so and the values values is basically what i what i told you that this field will calculate the average now you can see here that it has calculated the sum but what i want is the average so i can edit it what i will do i will click on this arrow then i will go to value field settings and then i will select average and i will press okay now you can see here that it has calculated the average score of the students from the given data now i need not to add anything because my purpose is fulfilled now i need not to add the students name so i just need this data that i have select already selected what i will do i will just close it from here and now you can see that this much data is you can say filtered to this much data according to my requirement so the pivot table has made it easier for me to understand the the data that was mentioned here that is a raw data and it is converted according to my will or according to my requirement so this was my requirement if i label it here my requirement or the purpose of ta pivot table it was the purpose of pivot table that is to calculate the average score of the students by grade level and subject and what we have got is we have got here the if i write here this is the information that we have got from the raw data so without using the pivot tables we have this this much data but after using the pivot we have this much data so it has it so it has shrinked the data you can say summarize the data so that we can easily see the comparison and trends across the data so i will call it an information because it is giving me a valuable information because it is giving me an information that the average marks of the students of 9th class in the math subject is 85 the average score of the students in 9th class in the science subject is 87.66 and the grand average grand total average of both the subjects in the 9th class is 86.33 same is the case for the 10th class i can also you keep this in mind i can also format this table according to my requirement as i have added the borders in here i can change its look and feel like for example i can change the colors and whatever i want for example if here we have the data that is the average with the uh, with the so many uh, values after the decimal point i can change it by formatting i'll go to format cells i'll go to numbers i will go to the number and i will select the two decimal places okay and now it's in proper form same is the case for this one i will also do it for it format cells then number and two decimal places and okay so this is the data that is giving me valuable information so i can change the colors i can change the look and feel i can change the i can also filter like you can filter here i will deselect it i will select only 9 i will say okay and it it will give me the data of only 9th class similarly i can apply the filter on the subjects so how easier it is to apply the pivot tables to get the required information that we want uh, by summarizing the data and so that we can easily compare like we can compare two classes here we can see the trend we can see we can see that which class is better in math subject which class is better in science subject so this is the main purpose of creating the pivot tables that it has has shrinked your data and convert your raw data into a useful information so that's all from today's lecture thank you